Right off the bat, we can see that now the beginning platform can be connected to other ground. Here's a picture of what that looks like in Super Mario Maker for comparison. Okay, he should not have died there, but this was done to say, slow. Also, in the original Super Mario Maker, you could pick up a shelmet from on top, though it seems you can't do that anymore. Also, new UI. Off to the left, we can see that 10 gold coins are now in the game. Here's the wheel half of a second later, so it can be seen better. We've got slopes and steep slopes. Also, off to the left, we can see the on-off switch block from Super Mario World, as well as the blocks affected by it. SNAKE BLOCKS! Not entirely sure what's up with the ship thing. People have theorized that this could be a day-night switch. Does the camera mean we can record our levels? Is that a co-op button I see? And is that for level building? Or level playing? Maybe both. Or it could be switching between Mario and Luigi. Based on the way the hand just moved, it's possible we may be using buttons. So there's a view mode now, apparently. Where there's a slope, there's a slide! Are those the puffy things from Super Mario Brothers 2? I forget what they were called. Desert theme, angry sun, longer platform. Yes! Snow theme! Snake blocks become ice snake blocks in the snow theme. Here's a picture from a second ago to prove it. There's a forest theme! Does this mean apples for Yoshi? Cheap cheeps bounce out of water! Also, a straight line of water can be placed and the player can make it move vertically. Here's the aforementioned on-off blocks in action. The feathers for custom scrolling. Neat. Also, it seems the mountain with the flag allows the player to add an extra challenge with collecting all the coins. It seems clear pipes are replacing the mushroom platforms in the Super Mario 3D World theme. We've also got the gray blocks here too. Super Mario 3D World's power up is a super bell. Also, Super Mario 3D World! Oh look! Ant troopers, porky puffers, bullies, hop chops, primer creepers, skip squeaks, and sting bees. Wait, now that I'm looking at it, is it possible to adjust the zoom on the screen? Also, climbable trees can now hold power-ups. Also, climbable trees were, you know, not in the original Mario Maker. Oh look! This thing! Stop! There! You see that? Climbable gates. Oh yeah, bonsai bills are here too. And they shoot from the background if you let them. Circus theme, anyone? Rotating platforms. Also, at the top, are those blocks connected to the platform? <laughs> parachutes can now be attached to enemies, as well as power-ups and various other things that parachutes can be attached to. Also, more pipe colors. I was getting sick of seeing the green pipes. Judging by the fact that the screen was scrolling up automatically, it's safe to assume we've got vertical levels. <laughs> Is this a space theme? No, night theme. Poison is now in Super Mario Maker, and possibly placeable like the water. Oh look! Multiple colors for Yoshi, too! The different colored Yoshis have different functions, just like in Super Mario World. The red Yoshi shoots fireballs. <laughs> Boom Boom is now available for boss levels. Also, there's a Fire Bro up in the top right. The fact that Builder Mario is holding Cat Luigi implies that, even if multiplayer isn't in it, Luigi's still playable.
Now that we've got the trailer out of the way, we're gonna look at the promotional art too. According to this image from Nintendo's website, we're also going to be having sideways moving thwomps. Is that a cat bullet bill? Oh look! Crates! Oh look! A Koopa in a car destroying the crates! Similarly to Bowser and Bowser Jr., it seems Boom Boom gains new abilities when we give him wings. This image seems to imply that Toad and Toadette are, in fact, playable. 